Hi guys, I would like to share with you this part and it's in Mark 10 verse 17 and we're going to read up to verse 22. So it's where this young rich ruler comes to Jesus and he actually kneels in front of him and he asks him, Lord, what should I do to inherit eternal salvation in the Messiah's kingdom? And Jesus looks at him and he says, you know the commandments. Do not murder, do not commit adultery, do not steal, do not testify falsely, do not defraud and honor your mother and your father. And he replied to Jesus, but teacher, I've been keeping these commandments since my youth. And then Jesus looked at him with love, high regard and compassion, the Bible says, because he knew what he was going to say to him right now is going to release a high cost. It is something of going for the main artery. It is something that is going to penetrate his heart and it might hurt. That's why I looked at him like that. And then he said, you lack one thing. Go and sell all your property and give the money to the poor and you will have abundant treasure in heaven and come follow me, becoming my disciple, believing and trusting in me and walking the same path of life that I walk. But the man was saddened at Jesus' words and he left grieving because he owned much property and he had many possessions which he treasured more than his relationship with God. I don't believe God is giving a teaching here only about being wealthy and that, that it's wrong or anything. No. I believe Jesus knew exactly what that one thing was in the rich young ruler's heart, keeping him from fully becoming his disciple, keeping him from a deeper intimacy with God, keeping him from truly following him fully. That's why I believe when he looked at him, he knew what he was going to ask of him, but he did it in love. He was inviting him higher and deeper and closer. He was not saying this to condemn him. He did it in love. And I believe today, even here not fully realizing the cost, I know that God is inviting each one of us. And he's asking these same words. He's saying, well done, my good and faithful servant in this place, in that place, in that aspect. But you know what? If you want to grow closer, if there's another step to be taken closer to me, to be more intimate, to find a deeper love, a greater anointing on your life. Would you allow me today to show you and to invite you? And we all come and we say, but Jesus, you are worthy and we want to. But honesty is the way to go. It's saying, Lord, I want to. It's saying, Psalm 139, verse 23, it's saying, Lord, search my heart. Know my anxious thoughts. Search my wicked ways. It's saying, Lord, come and search. Come and show me where I'm still in lack. Where I'm lacking that one thing. And yes, for some of us, it might be wealth and status and things we are putting our hope in more than treasuring our relationship with God. For some of us, it might be a career. It might be chasing in this direction, wanting to reach a certain place where we're setting up our own security before we fully follow God, before we fully trust Jesus. But for some of us, it's really something quite different. For some of us, it's a place where God is showing us right now in our hearts that we have pride. And it's sometimes the hardest thing to recognize in ourselves. It's easy to recognize it in somebody else. But it really takes a step of humility of saying, God, search me. And when God points it out, it takes more humility to say, Lord, I don't want this. Help me. Help me. It is coming to a place maybe where we are really willing to turn the other cheek. Really willing not to want to take revenge when we are persecuted. Where we are willing to suffer for Jesus. Not playing the advocate, but letting Holy Spirit be our advocate. It's a place of saying, Lord, 
help me to die in myself. Help me. And as I'm saying this, I know there's a great responsibility resting on us. Saying, Lord, what is that one thing that I lack? Search me and help me to overcome. Help me to overcome even if the cost is great, even if it's not nice to push myself to the back. Maybe it's not nice to be stabbed in the back. Maybe it's not nice that everybody doesn't know the real truth. But God never asked us to make sure to stand up for ourselves, to make sure that everybody knows how wrong that other person is. God never said, go and fight your persecutors. He'd rather say, pray for your enemies. And not pray for them to get revenge, but coming close to God's heart and saying, Lord, forgive them, help them, truly, truly help them, bless them, and help me to forgive them. Help me to see them the way you see them. And I just want to pray for us today and Father, we come before you, Lord, and we are a people, we are a remnant, Lord Jesus, of your kingdom. And we want to run for you. We want to be ambassadors for you, Jesus. And there's things we need to overcome, and it's on different scales, and it's different places that we are in this journey than the person next to us, maybe, Lord. But in all places, in all seasons, there are places where we lack one thing that you want to come and you want to invite us close. So you want to pull us into greater intimacy to follow you, Lord. And today we come before you and we ask, Lord, show us, search us and help us, Lord, to know that honesty is the way where we can say, it's hard for me, but Lord, I want to overcome. I don't want these things to matter for me. I want to trust you, Lord. I want to trust you with my future. I want to only seek your heart. I want to love you, Lord, and love your people every day in all things, Father. So come and help us, Lord, and forgive us, Lord, for where we have been selfish, for where we have treasured things above our relationship with you, whether it be for months and for weeks, Lord, or whether it be in that one split second when somebody angered us, when somebody hurts us and we took offense, Lord, forgive us, Father. Help us to be like your son, Jesus. And Holy Spirit, come and be the strength within us to overcome. For Jesus, you paid the price and you hold the victory, Lord. You are our inheritance. Please help us, Lord, to walk in your ways, to be a people after your heart, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May you have a most blessed day. And in all things, invite Holy Spirit in and ask him. May we ask him what he wants in every situation. How he wants us to respond. Be blessed.